Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how you can set up and configure Grafana on a Synology NAS. Now Grafana is a dashboard tool and I want to be totally transparent that it is basically a web application that allows you to configure a dashboard that can display various different types of information. So while setting up Grafana on a Synology NAS is actually very straightforward, actually using Grafana is a little bit more difficult. So you're going to have to uh, consult different types of tutorials online to pretty much show you exactly how to do what you're looking to do but you can create really complex dashboards somewhat easily and basically monitor your entire home network or your home lab, whatever you have set up in a really cool looking dashboard and you can host all of that on your Synology NAS. So before we get started, there are written instructions in the description for everything that we're gonna be going over today. So the first thing that you need to do is on your Synology NAS, make sure that you have Docker installed. And once that's done, there's going to be a Docker folder that uh, the installation automatically creates. And you can go inside of that and you can create a folder named Grafana. We're basically going to map this at a later step so that all of your dashboard information is stored in a persistent volume in case you ever have to move this onto a different device. So once that's done, you are going to have to SSH into your Synology NAS. If you aren't sure how to do that, I have a video that I will leave a pop up for now. But once you SSH in, you're going to have to run a command, which is basically going to take the folder that we just created, and it's going to change the ownership on it. So the user ID 472 is the user ID that is running Grafana. Now, if you are interested in running a persistent volume, you have to change the ownership of that folder to be that 472 user. This command simply does that. So if you have the Docker folder on your first volume, so volume one, you'll have to use the volume one. If it's on a different volume for whatever reason, you're gonna have to change that number. So instead of volume one, use volume two or three, whatever it's on. Uh, but like I said, this is just changing the ownership of that one folder. Once that's done, you can open up Docker, then you can select the registry and you can download the latest Grafana image. Once that's done downloading, you can double click the image to launch the configurator. And at that point, you're gonna to have to give your container a name and then select the advanced settings. In here, you're gonna enable the auto restart, which is basically just saying that every time the Synology NAS is restarted, it will automatically start up this container. Once that's done, you can then head into the volume section. So this is what I was talking about earlier with the persistent volume. So we're gonna be mapping the Grafana folder that we created a little earlier to the var slash lib slash Grafana folder. And this is basically saying that the contents of the containers folder, that var lib Grafana folder, it's going to be mapped to our Synology NAS. So that's how the persistent volume is created. If for whatever reason you have to move this or you just wanna back up your Grafana data, this is where it's actually stored. So just back up this folder and then everything in your Grafana Docker container should be properly backed up. Once that's done, you can head over to the port settings section and you're gonna change the default port from auto to 8080. Now, I personally am using uh, port 8080 for Grafana, but you can use whatever you want. Um, so if you are using 8080 for a different service, you're gonna have to change that. So use 8080, 8081, 8082, whatever it is, um, you can realistically make this whatever you want. It just has to be something that's not currently in use. Now, if you are using Synology's firewall, and I suggest that you do, I'll leave a pop-up now for a firewall video that I already created. Um, but if you're using Synology's firewall, you have to create an allow rule for whatever port you specified here. Once that's done, you can select apply, and then you can create the container. Now, you're gonna have to give it a little bit, probably two to five minutes or so, um, but you're gonna be able to navigate to the IP address of your Synology NAS and port 8080 if that's what you use, and if you use something else, you'll have to use that port there. Once you get there, you're gonna be brought to the main uh, login page for Grafana. So you can log in with the username admin and the password admin. Those are the default credentials, and then it's gonna prompt you to change the password. You could change that to be whatever you want. Um, at this point, Grafana is successfully set up. So like I said earlier, this is strictly the setup process for Grafana. So you're gonna to have to go in now and create your dashboards, connect to whatever services you wanna to connect to, and you can kind of use this as your starting point. So hopefully this helped you guys out. It's pretty straightforward, but there's still a lot more that you're gonna to have to actually build into this. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. Thanks a lot, guys.